Ola. Try to be lazy, but I know God. Never try to put me in a bow tie. So to make your voice heard on issues like LGBTQ equality, uh, reproductive health care, immigration reform, so on and so forth, I'm so angry. Oh my God, it just, it just takes a while. Yeah, pippin' broads plus pippin' pin, multiplying, I gotta win. God bless the USA. We are here in Texas where we have had regular white supremacist protests. And there has never been a better time to be a proud Texan. I love you. I love you all more than I can say. Last week, a very dumb Democrat candidate for president, that's the end of him in this state, pledged to revoke the tax-exempt status of many churches and religious charities. You ensured that the 38 electoral college votes here in Texas can be won and can put Donald Trump away forever. And by the way, that was after a few weeks ago he said, excuse me, we're going to take your guns away. That doesn't work well. Anymore. And I called him right. Remember the flailing arms? Nobody noticed it. I noticed it. The flailer. You remember he was flailing all over the place. I said, why is this guy hot? John Cornyn's going to win so easily, just like Ted Cruz won. He's going to win, no matter what happens. But John Cornyn is not talking about Beto anymore, because Beto, in a few short weeks, got rid of guns and got rid of religion. Those are not two good things in Texas to get rid of. And I will never allow the federal government to be used to punish Americans for their religious beliefs. And I will never allow the IRS to be used as a political weapon, except in the case of myself, where they use it against me. The radical left tolerates no dissent. It permits no opposition. It accepts no compromise. These people are crazy. And it has absolutely no respect for the will of the American people. First, it was the Russia hoax.